So it looks like if Jaguar was jagging again, she made a statement, she made a call, and she made some threats. So Danny Robertson posted it because it pertains to her directly. Jaguar called the DA to report her and said that she was a cyber stalker. And this is how the conversation went with Jaguar and her leaving a message because she didn't actually talk to anyone, but she left a message. Before we get into the video, hit the like, make it light up for me, please. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Let's get back to this video on this calling of the DA. Jaguar have not learned her lesson not to call these people. So I guess some lessons are hard to learn. What is the old saying? A hard head makes a soft ass is a colloquial way of warning people that being stubborn or resistant to advice or correction can result in negative consequences. And I think that's what Jaguar is doing right now. She's being stubborn. She's not heeding to the warning of what happened the last time she made a call to the mayor's office. Now she's making a call to the DA's office. Are you serious? The minute they look up Jaguar right and they see the charges and her history of in and out of mental institutions, in and out of jail, what do you think they're going to do? The DA's office is probably going to put a call into the judge and say, listen, I know you got a case coming up. Case number X, Y, and Z because Jaguar did give out her case number. This is a case number. I know you all got this case on your docket coming up in September, September the 20th. I want you to make this individual go away because she's a nuisance. I looked at a record. I scanned through her record. And it's a long list, okay? Make this menace to society go away, please. Maybe that's what the DA's office is going to do and say. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just speculating, folks. Drop it in the comment section. What do you guys think is going to happen now that Jaguar put in this call? And we haven't heard anything about this so-called tobacco that the cops took away when they went down there to that house and do a raid on the house. We did not get any word yet about this so-called tobacco that looked green. Tobacco is supposed to look brown, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to look brown after they processed it and so on? But this was looking green, wasn't it? A little greenish. Anyway, she said it was tobacco. We're going to run with that. It's, it was tobacco, okay? If you like it, Jaguar, I love it. Anyway, let's complete this video with this phone call that Jaguar made to the DA's office. And she wanted someone in her room, I guess it was the coffee room, to send that message to Danny Robertson. Because we all know that she's got beef with Danny Robertson. She says, oh, you're making money off of me, off my name. I guess what? If you didn't put out the content, she wouldn't make money off of it, right? If you did not make a scandal of your name, she, there would be no reason for her to blog on anything concerning you. She would be blogging on some other person. But let's continue with this video. So here's the footage where Jaguar said she's on Danny's backup channel. And she looked at the paperwork of the DA's information that was posted along with the bond that was posted by Danny Robertson. I don't want to move out of the backup channel, which she put up four days ago. The district attorney was seeing matters concerning Jackie was said right, who is also known as Jackie Wright, is as follows. And it says Stephen Forsbitt, uh, 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 I got her. So now we're going to hear the phone call where Jaguar called the DA's office and left a message. Hello, my name is Jacqueline Wright. Um, it was published for live on, on YouTube on a channel called For the Basics that your name is Stephen Fawcett. You're an assistant district attorney here in Dallas County. Your address is Frank Crawl Courts Building, 133 North Riverfront Boulevard. LB19, Dallas, Texas. Of course, I have your number on 
also present here because I called you. And also in this community post, it says associated cases, a number at 2320533. Allegation case number M2320490. Um, for this big arrest. Um, and it also has instructions here. Should you have any queries or wish to share information pertinent to our case, please do not hesitate to get in touch with this contact. For additional details regarding bond conditions for Jacqueline, that's right, kindly refer to this document. Uh, let me comment here, sir. I want to make this very clear to you. This YouTuber is a cyber stalker, and she's also a suspect in the SWAT case against me. I am going to call your ball, sir, because I don't understand why you're using YouTubers to do your job. So that's the part that didn't make absolutely no sense. That's why I know that Jaguar was not on her meds when she made that call. How are YouTubers doing the district attorney's job? Jaguar needs to go and read up on the district attorney's job description and she will get a better understanding that YouTubers are not doing the district attorney's job. Not by a long shot. Hey, if you have been Now that's another part of this message that did not make any sense. How did Donnie Robertson dox the district attorney's office when everything is public information? The address, the telephone number, the title, the phone number. The Jaguar said, I will be talking to your boss. Why you will or will not be doing anything about that. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? You're speaking in a way that even you cannot understand. So you are jumping the gun and assuming this assistant DA will not be doing anything or might be doing something. And you got to talk to his boss concerning a matter that he has not taken care of yet or even listened to the recorded phone call as yet. But you're threatening to call his boss and talk to his boss about he or she, about a matter they will be doing something about, or maybe not. Does that make sense? Do you understand me? Uh, what your name is? Uh, something? Stephen Fawcett? My name is Jacqueline Wright. My professional name is Jaguar Wright Johnson. Y'all all know who I am down that building. I'm expecting you to handle this immediately. My name is Jacqueline Suzette Wright Johnson. You all know who I am down in that building. I expect you to answer this immediately. Go ahead, Jaguar. Wheel your power, honey. If you think it's in your head, then I guess you got the power. And what is that, guys? What is that called? Delusions of grandeur. When you think you're bigger than you actually are. You're more important than you actually are. And you speak in such a manner. Now, the illusions of grandeur has a very simple explanation and simple meaning. It simply means to have a false impression of one's own importance. Who does Jaguar really think she's talking to when she says, I, I'm sorry to seem a little crass, and this is some BS, and you know it. He knows what? He or she? This attorney don't know you from Adam. What the heck? What the tarnations is Jaguar right talking about? See, I'm going to have to pull out that Oscar. And the Oscar goes to Miss Jacqueline Wright Johnson. Guys, this video exhausted me. It's a short video, but I'm exhausted. Every time I listen to Jaguar and her antics, I get so drained. I got to go take two Tylenols, two Bufferin, two everything. You name it, it's in the cabinet. I got to take two. I got to soak a towel and put it on my forehead and lay down in the dark. I got to put two patches over my eye. 
and rub that lima call over my forehead. By the time I'm done, I'm going to be smelling like a medicine cabinet. That's what Jaguar Ride does to me every time. See, Jaguar, now I'm going to have to stop reviewing you. You know that. Because you're giving me a headache. Permanent headache. And that is not good for my health. YouTubers, on that note, I'm over and out. Drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Jaguar reporting Danny Robertson for cyber stalking to the DA's office. But before you go, don't forget to hit that like bell. That's the thumb ups bell. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. I'm over and out. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.